This is a more difficult domain question. We are going to find the domain of this function. And notice that we have x on the bottom and dx inside the square root. So we have two places to worry about. And let me just write this down right here for you guys. Whenever we have an expression, top over bottom, we have to make sure that the bottom is not equal to zero. That's a condition, because otherwise we're dividing by zero. And the other condition is, if we have a square root of the inside, then in that case, the inside of the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero, because otherwise we will get the so-called imaginary number. So let's go ahead and take care of the first condition. Let's just put the bottom right here. Like this is, let's say this is the first condition. We don't want it to be zero. So first part, two plus three X, we do not want it to be zero. And then let's just go ahead and solve this right away. So put the two to the other side, three X cannot be equal to negative two. Divide three on both sides, X cannot be negative two over three, all right? And then for the other part, that's the square root part, we see that here we have the five minus X. So per the discussion here, for number two, we have to make sure that five minus X, the inside of the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. So these are the two conditions that we need to have. The plus one here doesn't matter. All right, solve this real quick. Put a five to the other side, so we get negative x is greater than or equal to negative five. And then right here, I'll divide both sides by negative one. So be careful, we get past the x here. But because we divide both sides by negative number, we will have to flip the inequality and we get less than or equal to negative five minus negative five divided by negative one, positive five. Okay, now, what do we do next? We are going to combine these two conditions and then write the domain in interval notation. And I will recommend you guys to put the conditions on the number line. Use a graph, it's much better. Here's the number line. Let's say we have negative two thirds right here. And because of this, we don't want x to be negative two thirds. That means we have to put an open circle. Okay, and then so everything else we are going to take. But we also have this condition. X has to be less than or equal to five. Five is bigger than the negative number. So let's put it on the right hand side, let's say here. It's less than or equal to, it has the equal sign. So it's a closed circle. It's a closed circle, all right? And because this X is less than or equal to, we go to the left. So we pretty much just call for all the numbers to the left, and just like that. Now we just have to write the interval notation for this and that. So ladies and gentlemen, the domain of this function is all the way from negative infinity, right, all the way from the left, and do not include infinity or negative infinity, just put a parentheses, comma, negative two third, open circle means we put parentheses, Union, and we picked up from negative two-third. Again, do not include that number, comma, up to five. But for the five, we are including it, so we'll be using a square bracket. Yep, this right here is it. And if you guys need more domain questions, you guys can leave a comment down below, and I will see if I can make more videos for you guys. But for now, hopefully this helps, and this is it.